I don't know if I can turn it so you can see her. She's just hanging out. <laughs> hey guys, so today I want to talk about my writing plans for the remainder of 2022. We only have six months left. Five. We only have five months left. Oh my god. My biggest goal for 2022 is to complete volume one of my work in progress, which is a queer epic fantasy with the deadline for part one and part two to be done by January 31st of 2023. For the remainder of 2022, I have some writing goals for every single month that I want to go through with you guys so that you guys can kind of have an idea of what kind of content you might see on this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it I will make a list over here. In August, I would like to write at least 5,000 words, if not more than that. The big thing I want to do in August is to finish cleaning up part 1A, finish writing chapter 7, which I have been avoiding writing. It is the only chapter in part 1A I haven't written yet. And then I also want to go through and rewrite some different sections of chapters that I've decided that I, I want to do a little bit differently. The other thing I want to start doing in August is working on part 1B, which I'm very excited about. I already have about half of part 1B written. I just have the other half of part 1B to finish writing. And then in September, I also would like to write a minimum of 5,000 words and hopefully can finish writing all of the unfinished chapters of part 1B. And then the other thing I'd like to do is go back and do some cleanups of part 1B, do some edits, some rewrites, whatever it is I decide that I wanna do. And I would like to have part 1B finished at the end of September, but I have a feeling I'm still gonna be working on it into October just because it's a little bit lengthier. But I'm hoping that I can have part 1A and part 1B completely written so that they can be alpha read in October. We'll see if I get there. You guys will know if it's already October, you could probably check out what I'm doing and see if I if anybody's alpha reading it. <laughs> For October, I also would like to write a minimum of 5,000 words. I also want to begin preparing for NaNoWriMo. I am planning on participating this year. I almost always get a lot of stuff done during November. So my goal for November is to write 50,000 words. And the big thing that I want to do during NaNoWriMo is work on part two of the book. If I can complete part two, that would be ideal, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Part two has 55 chapters and I've been writing about 4,000 words per chapter. 55 times four is a little more than 50,000 words. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to start working on part two in October so that by the time I get to November, I will be just finishing up writing part two, but we'll see where I'm at. It really just depends on how busy I am this year and what all is going on. And then for December, final month of the year, I would like to write a minimum of 5,000 words. If I can write more than that, that would be ideal. Last December after NaNoWriMo, I actually wrote 30,000 words. I wrote a total of 80,000 words in November and December alone. So I'm hoping that I can do something similar again this year, but we'll see. It just depends on how motivated I am and how busy I am and what all's going on. I don't know what my life's going to look like in December. The big thing I want to do in December is to continue working on part two, finish it up if it's not done yet, or start working on a pass through with rewrites and cleaning anything up so that hopefully in January of 2023, I will be doing the last last bits of rewrites and edits that I want to do with part two so that part two can officially be done on January 31st of 2023, which means that the first draft of volume one of this book would be completed by January. And then I guess I would be moving on to like beta reading, which is Wow. Those are my writing plans. Let me know what your writing plans are in the comments below. If you are not a writer and you're just hanging out on this channel because you want to see my writing journey, please yell at me to write my book because it always helps to have people in the comments be like, write your book. Whatever you're doing right now, stop it. Go write your book. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for being awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.